feels great. feels good to get back. Good to do some damage under the dome. <laughs> He's always been involved, and he was involved a lot last year, but I get the sense that he's, he's even more involved this year. I mean, he's, he's obviously we're taking it beyond the book. So he, it's like ha having this great Stephen King mind, um, you know, participate in, in exploring what he would have liked to have explored if he could have written more about these topics in the book, yet he gets to do it on a TV show. So to have him sit down and write a script and get to say, uh, to say his words, and they're fantastic. I think it, it means a lot to us because it means that he's really involved and he's really, you know, has his finger uh, on the, on on the show this year. I think we're really going to expand the story this year, which I'm really excited about. Uh, Stephen King's on on board with that. We're going to go places the book has, has never gone. We really, in many ways, um, we reinvent the show, and we, it, we, we kind of reset the deck. We kind of reset the stage, and that allows us to expand it and to take it in, in directions we didn't really even think about in the first season. So I, I'm, I'm excited about, really excited about all the new cast. I had kind of hoped last year that we got to see Big Jim struggle with his own mind, with his own possible going insane, and I think we do. Uh, we get to see a transformative Big Jim. We get to see, in a sense, maybe a little bit of a rehabilitated Big Jim. I think uh, kind of almost a la Ebenezer Scrooge, he gets to look back, in a sense, at the bad things he's done and maybe reconsider them and, and say, boy, is that really the right thing to do? Um, did, I, did I make the right call on those things? And uh, how will that change him when he thinks about that and maybe he, he decides he's going to take a different path? I think that's really one of the main themes of the season, too, is really the, the you know, incredible problems that are going to happen, pestilence and, and bad things and you know, running out of resources and, uh, and running out of, uh, of uh, patience. And, uh, and I like that. I like that, the conflict that brings, you know. And I think that Big Jim, again, is going to sit there and try to figure out how to keep things in order, how to keep things, um, how, to, how to help people survive. That's what he believes his job is to do. That's what he did last year. And I think that's what he's going to do this season. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but I think it's going to be strained and we're going to, we're going to see um, you know, kind of the limits of, of father-son love there. Uh, Big Jim still loves his son, and I think he always will, and I think we also see that demonstrated in the very first episode. But uh, where, that, uh, where that relationship goes in the long run, uh, who knows? Yet again, Big Jim gets to mix it up with another guy. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, and, I, and, he's, and he's a great actor, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun for us to, to, to do some scenes together. I'm really excited to explore uh, Big Jim's relationship with his wife. I think that's a really, uh, you know, it's really going to be rich for some very interesting things. I think we get to see a different side of Big Jim. I think we get to see, hopefully, I think we see a loving side of him because I think he loved his wife. Uh, whether he told the truth about her demise or not demise uh, is something that we'll find out. And I'm, and I'm spectacularly excited that it's Sherry Stringfield playing my wife. Big Jim and the, and the new uh, the teacher character is going to be a, an, another interesting um, relationship. I think it's best described as uh, she's going to be my Lady Macbeth at some level. So I think we'll leave it at that. I love everybody. Big Jim's a lover. He's not a fighter. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm glad they all want me out of the dome. But then what fun would the dome be? Right? If everyone's holding hands, singing kumbaya, 
what uh, what kind of show would that be, you know? <laughs> I think season two is going to be, uh, quite frankly, uh, better uh, than season one. I think it's going to be uh, crisper. I think we've really uh, kind of fleshed out the, the kind of themes that we want to deal with. I think it's going to have a high impact. I think all the characters have found their voices. I think the new people that we've added are going to be spectacular.